Hello, this is Fertimin VR and my review for the Kiwi Design V2 Silence VR cables. And we'll kick off with an unboxing. This kit is for suspending your VR headset cable over your head from the ceiling. And this should make VR gaming more comfortable by removing the trailing cable, making it easier to turn in VR and from being a trip hazard. First out of the box are the adhesive ceiling hooks. There are seven in this pack, which means there are some spares included as you won't need to use all seven in a single application. This is the ring hook. It's an important little piece that we will be using later. This Allen key is used for adjusting the cable length. A pack of screw-in hooks. This is the alternative option for suspending the cable pulleys. Some raw plugs to go with the hooks. This is the printed manual, written in several languages. The instructions are very well illustrated and easy to follow. And finally we have the all important suspension pulley system. The kit includes 6 of these individually bagged. You'll see later I only needed to use 5 of these in my installation. Fully extended, the cable is 170cm in length which isn't long enough to reach the floor, but you combine the pulleys to extend the range, which is covered in the instructions. The flexible parts are made from silicon. This durable rubbery material is used for holding the cable to the pulley at one end, also for the bumper covering the adjustable cable stopper, and for the loop at the top of the pulley. This material was used to ensure the pulleys don't rattle around making distracting noises when you move around, and it is very effective making them virtually silent in use. I'm using the adhesive hooks on my textured ceiling, as it's not a completely flat surface, we're not getting 100% contact with the sticky pads. But I haven't found this to be a problem. The adhesive on the pads is very strong, and the pads themselves are slightly flexible, so it does partially mould to this uneven surface. The pads also have a broad surface area to spread the load. As long as the painted surface is properly bonded to your ceiling, these adhesive hooks should work without any issue. I've stuck on the other hooks and the pulleys are in place, so I'm ready to attach the cable from my Valve Index VR headset. I've been an avid VR gamer for over three years, and what prevented me from trying a cable suspension solution until now were a couple of hurdles that may concern you too. First, would these things stick onto the ceiling without coming away? And secondly, will the cable collide with my ceiling light? So, you know, it seemed like a bit of a gamble, but this kit isn't very expensive. And yeah, after three years, I decided it was worth a go. So to give you a verdict on those questions, at least in my circumstances, it has been working absolutely perfectly. I've only been using this for about a week, so not a long-term test. Uh, but there has been no indication of any potential problems or any future problems that uh, I can expect. The adhesive hooks are holding up fine. There's no chance of them coming off that I can see. And the cable is not contacting my light. But if that is a problem, what you can do is use the cable stoppers on the pulleys and just lengthen the cable. And uh, that means you can then drop the cable a few inches further down. And so if you do have a, a light fitting which is lower, uh, you can just drop it down below the light and you can avoid it completely. Here's a demonstration of the pulleys handling rapid movements and changes of direction. And I will tell you now, it's working as advertised. And in fact, beyond my expectations, not only are the pulleys keeping the cable above my head and out of the way, allowing me freedom of movement, most of the time I'm unaware a cable is attached. I actually can't feel the presence of that cable 95% of the time. I would have expected the cable moving around would transfer some feeling of resistance or something, but absolutely not. It's like the cable has disappeared, uh, which is amazingly surprising. Um, and the only time I had some sense of resistance is if I walked right to the face of my walls, um, which is something I'd never do anyway, as you know, you're just basically planting your face in the wall. So yeah, there's no point in doing that. So there is a limitation of range. If you have a larger play space than mine and you like to move around a lot, the cable presence will be more obvious. But maybe there is also a way to position the cable and pulleys to make it work better in a larger room space. When I felt some pull against the pulley cables, it never felt like the headset was going to be wrenched off my head or anything like that. 
or upset the headsets out of the visual sweet spot of the lenses. During this demonstration, um, I had no sense of the cable being there. It was completely invisible to me, and I kind of made sure I was doing some exaggerated movements and motions, just to show how capable the system is. Now I'll show you a small selection of games I picked out that really display the benefits of this Kiwi Design VR cable setup. This is Hollow Point, a high intensity bow title released in the early days of VR. It's not much to look at these days, but it remains a good workout and I still enjoy its non-stop action that really holds your attention. And um, now I don't have to tackle the trailing cable, it is much easier to spin around, dodge and duck. Um, without worrying about stepping on the cable, tripping over it, or just basically getting tangled up. Yep, so it's so much better than it used to be. Next up we have Racket NX, a future sports 360 degree tennis style game. Here you're spinning around a lot as you aim for targets around you and trying to keep up with the direction of the ball. And um, yeah, having this freedom makes a huge difference making the game more playable. I'm sure anyone can appreciate Annie's game where you are spinning around continuously, you know, having this extra freedom makes a big difference to the experience. This is Unbreakable VR Runner. You need a decent play space to navigate this endless runner, plus some confidence in your physical surroundings, as it is a test of mobility and speed. With a trailing cable, it's not too bad to play um, with the cable on the floor as you are always facing in one direction. But as the cable is moving a lot behind you, um, stepping on a trailing cable is quite easy to do and quite dangerous. Um, so another win for the overhead cable by completely eliminating that possibility. And the final example I wanted to show you is Zero Calibre VR, but this is a fair assessment for any VR shooter in fact. We're performing turns, crouching, shooting around corners, you know, plenty of ducking and diving here. Uh, plus I'm using my DIY gun stock, which is another hazard for the cable hanging down to the floor to get tangled with. While playing games like this, I was constantly grabbing the cable and swiping it out of the way in both standing and crouching positions because it would interfere with my gameplay. And uh, that interruption does, you know, get in the way of the flow of your action and does make VR shooters a little less intuitive and cumbersome with the cable on the floor snaking around you. Um, well, you know, with this system, it's no longer a problem, so it's problem solved, which is absolutely fantastic. This is such a great solution for VR. It's comparable to being wireless. Really, it is. It works that well. And uh, this is inexpensive for what it does. So I completely recommend the Kiwi Design VR cables. Just so you know, I did buy this with my own money. It wasn't a freebie for a positive review or anything like that. I've never been in contact with them, if you are wondering. Using this cable system has made VR more enjoyable for me as I can immerse myself in the experience without having to contend with the cable being an obstacle and taking me out of the moment. For such a simple device it's worth much more than what I paid for it. If you are able to attach something like this to your ceiling, um, you know, just do it. You'll, you will be very, very happy with the enhancement of removing the cable from around your feet. Let's end this review here. I hope you found it useful. Please like and subscribe, of course. Drop your comments below the video if you want to ask anything about this review, and I will be happy to respond. So until next time, take care and bye-bye.